Two weeks after the tennis match, we find Tanaka in better spirits with himself and his seniors. His parents gave him a new cell phone at the beginning of term. Boarders were allowed to use their cell phones twice a week, and this week Tanaka decided he wanted to find some girls to talk to. Hey, Muku. Hold up. Yo, TK, what's up, my old? Do you want to freeze it? Thanks, my guy. I owe you one. Ah, don't mention it. So what's the story. Ah, yes. I need you to do me a solid. Tonight is phone night, so hook me up with some DJs, bro. <laughs> ah, you. You think they want to rap to you? Look, Smug, I have some bars you wouldn't know my own. Okay, bro. As soon as we get our phones off the supper, I will send some. But fix your fee is coming soon, so don't mess this up. If they ask where you got my number from, don't say my name. Okay. Yes, I would love to. I know exactly what movie to watch. Tanaka, tune us what card with my tips. Um, um, we went to Westgate to watch the crudes. So did you tear the item? Yeah, on. Jack, I just gave her a hug. Nah, sit down, don't waste our time, man. You work on. Ah, Tanaka, that is useless, my guy. But, but we had fun. But ah, we got Zora Shamas. Here we see Tanaka belittled again. This time by his own peers. Upon telling the truth about what happened during his fixture free break, he was ridiculed for not having had any intimate action with Matipa. An interesting story to tell his boys. This left him utterly conflicted because he had had a great weekend but now he was feeling like he truly was useless and whack he never wanted to share a story again after that day even in moments when you don't feel like you're good enough it's easy to want to blend into the crowd and hide in the back avoiding bringing any attention to yourself but a higher calling god commands us to be strong and courageous Join us next time to see if Tanaka shakes away his doubt and gains his confidence back. <laughs>